Well, I'm uh, drawing the construction site and I've got, uh, I've, I'm trying to find a spot that was somewhat quiet, which was almost impossible. So I'm just gonna do four little drawings here. One is of this truck. And I'm doing this freehand. Try to do this more quickly. Using uh, this Sketch Club app I like. So what I like about this truck It's very frontal and full frontal and profile or whatever we want to call it. It's rather a less interesting view than I normally would do. Why isn't this working? Uh, my phone was telling me something I didn't want it to tell me. So anyway, here's the truck. You can see it's a truck. Trying to get me to join hot spots. So here's the truck. Now, what I like about this truck, and I'll zoom in in a minute, but it has all of this faldy roll piping, uh, pinstriping on it, which I always think is funny that a big butch truck with big butch construction workers has all this little frou-frou on it. It's like putting perfume on a pig or makeup on a pig or whatever whatever they say. So anyway, so this, I think everyone would call this, this could count as an urban sketch. It's a truck but maybe not. Maybe I have to show the building it's working on. I'm not really sure. So, there's drawing number one. Maybe that counts, maybe not. I don't know. Now, let me go to drawing number two. Walking slightly across the street to it. and trying to find the angle I want. Okay, so I'm next to the truck again. Here's the cab. Here's the rear view mirror. Here's the back of the cab. I can tell why my neighbors are going crazy with the noise. I live on the quiet side of the building at the moment, so I don't hear any of this nonsense. But I did when they were building on the other side of the building. I heard all that nonsense. So I'm zooming in. Now I'm drawing the truck that's in the distance. And if If I was doing this in color, which I might as well do, there's all of these orange cones and stanchions and things that are supposed to keep you from being run over or killed by the workers as they work. So that's drawing number two. And I guess, I'm, I'm guessing, that you might call this an urban sketch if I had actually finished this or if this was the only thing you saw. And the little stripes. Some pinstriping on this thing. Okay, so two drawings done. Now do a third. I may not, I 
may not be able to stay here very long. I'm not wearing my hard hat that I was given by the company. So here now is the side of the truck and we're zooming way in and you see the pinstriping and the pinstriping up here since 1949 contractors right there and it has all of this frou-frou that I was describing the little curly cues and the curly cues are either gold or or white for those of you that draw on an iPad you'll you'll recognize my pain it's very difficult to draw in the bright sunshine but what's interesting about this view is right here in the middle you see my old face and figure as I'm in the reflection and here I'm here's my face up here my eyes glasses you see down below you see the ground reflected you see my blue jeans reflected and here you see my iPad is right here and my iPad pencil is right there and and you also see other things in the reflection so let's pretend I did this one well Not, oh then I should I have to put the doorknob to this little thing here so, on this thing everything I see is almost flat it is flat it's a flat thing with a reflection of me and the background behind me but here's the only thing three-dimensional is this little doorknob everything else is flat okay <coughs> So we've got three drawings so far, a truck, a truck at environs, and the side of a truck with a reflection. What else can I draw? It's suddenly quiet here. Here's the, the background of the truck, or the back, the, whatever it's called, the, the, uh, the stuff in the back of the truck. Um, so it's a, the bed of a truck, that's what it's called, the bed of a truck. So you have a conglomeration of stuff. Make it all dark here because it's mainly dark. Here's a, here's a lunch box. Here's the top of another box, not a lunch box, but something, I don't know what. Here's another box. And way in the back is that corrugated metal stuff that has the tools in it, I guess. There's a shadow below it. There's reflection over some of it, reflected from what's ever over here. So if you look at just this partic one particular thing, you may not even know what you're looking at. And that's what I like. I like I'm making a very realistic drawing of something that, unless I was telling you what this was, you might not even know. But I like drawing things that are realistic, yet not understood immediately, or even understood at all. I like the mystery of something. But I am drawing stuff in front of me, and so this is four pictures of a truck. and I'll call it a day on this, but I imagine there might be 
there might be some of you that would say, this one doesn't count. Or you might say, this one does count. I'm now in the shade and I'm looking at the drawings I did and I see them, they're, they're very, all of them are more abstract. I normally would go into any one of these things and draw more detail. But again, the, the one over here, the top left, shows a profile of a truck. Straightforward, run-of-the-mill drawing, which is fine. The one on top right shows the truck in perspective with the truck in the distance and all those other things representing a construction site. I think that one, either both of these you would probably say count as an urban sketch. The one on the lower left, you might not. Even though I show myself and my sketchbook and the thing that's that I drew close up of the door, the truck, the door of the of the cabinet, I guess, that's part of the back of the truck with all of its frou-frou, and then finally the back of the truck. So what do you think? How do I turn this off? Hi.